Good morning, it's Monday, and I am smiling because of this. I get a chance to talk to you, to communicate. And I'm very grateful today is Monday, a day to really start doing the work, taking the steps to move things forward. What I loved about my Monday is I had two calls scheduled already with people who I have great respect for. They have a unique perspective, they have a willingness to be open and learn to share, and they're coming from a place of collaboration, coming from a place of service, of really adding value to the customer, not just taking care of themselves. Now that idea can sound common sense, and it's often said that common sense isn't that common. Now right now the rains are about to come in, so I'm keeping it nice and short for you today. But who is your ideal customer? Who is your customer avatar? We'll be sharing something about that in a couple of weeks' time. And we've actually been revisiting our own work on this from maybe a five, six, seven, eight years ago. And we're seeing how there are new things we can apply to this subject as we look ourselves about who we want to be working with over the coming day, weeks, months, and years ahead. And it's been quite interesting to see how the choices I made about my customer avatars a decade ago impacted my last decade so profoundly. And now with hindsight, again, not bringing that into the future, but giving myself some space to really pause, stop and reset, I can think again about who my customer avatar is moving forward. And you might be surprised about what I come out with and share, and I think I'll be surprised as it comes into more clarity. So we're asking ourselves questions, we're collaborating, we're actually understanding the power of mindset, of marketing, and of actually being somebody willing to take an action, willing to stand in the conversation, and willing to explore from a space of every day's Monday. So that reminder hopefully gives you hope. It hopefully gives you the reminder that tomorrow can be Monday. Monday being a sort of a new day here in the UK. And it's an idea I think that's quite profound because if you take that on, it gives you the hope that there is a future to live into. Now it's equally true that there is every day is Sunday. Every day can be your sacred Sunday. Every day can be a day of rest and play and connection. But if you can do both, well, then, then I think we then to the alchemy world. We get into a place of being able to be very focused on what it has to be focused on, and at the same time very grateful and very open. And so if you can have every day Monday and every day Sunday, every day, every day it needs to be for you, and a choice to alter that context groundedly, understanding the impact that has on you today and the future you're living into, I think that can be quite profound. I know for many people, these are challenging circumstances. And I'm very grateful for my friends, my family, my partners, my old clients and current clients who we get to communicate with and work with. These videos have shown me something and that is there's more to learn for myself. And as I get your feedback, as I learn what you like, what you're finding valuable, I'm refining and optimizing how I'm communicating. And that communication I think is the most valuable skill I've learned. And I look forward to sharing more things as my communication improves with you over video and hopefully live in the world in the future. So with that said, who's your customer avatar? Want to know more about that? Get in touch and we'll share how you can access our early bird course in the coming days and weeks. And with that said, have a great Monday and I'll see you next time.